Well then, today seems a little bit cold. <laughs> Welcome back to the farm. We're in February and it is snowing, which I think it's first time I've actually been in the snow. I wonder if the snow will settle. Well, we might have to sleep very soon, even though it is 9 a.m. Uh, but I just want to check a few things here on the farm. One thing is the water, which seems to be all right indeed all right uh, let's head into our tractor here where it's probably a little bit warmer and let's quickly check the used machinery N no uh, <laughs> wait hold on a bale loader eases the collection of bales what is this thing I have never seen such a machine before I'm not gonna lie I don't know how this thing actually works now I'm just checking to make sure that we are not missing any good opportunities. June is for the soybeans and do we even have anything else to sell? I'm pretty sure that is it. <laughs> soybeans, I think we have sold everything else in the last episode. So yeah, it's going to be a while before we can sell anything again. I think that we don't have much to do in this month actually. We don't need to spread any lime. We are not in a month where we can seed the oats, uh, which is the plan, by the way. We will be seeding oats, and then as we harvest the oats in like June or something, I will just double check. Yeah, we harvest the oats right here, and then in the next month after that, we will be able to seed in the canola. So that is my plan. We will transition right there. Um, but yeah, unless there's some really good contracts, I think we will just skip to the next month. Um, hmm, yeah, just cultivating and plowing. Nope, I think uh, we will sleep, but very nice to experience the winter weather. I will just double check, however, that we don't need any, like, lime or anything like that done. We got fertilization done. Nope. Nothing. We're good. All right, let's head indoors and I'll meet you in a month's time. <laughs> Actually, oh no, we are in perfect attire for this. Maybe I should change my gloves to. Uh, hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I'll see you in a month's time. We are in March, and we have over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, we do have rain on the forecast, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue, hopefully. We will check it out. Uh, lime is still not needed to be spreading. I'm keeping an eye on this field 48 here, because when it has, if it gets two stages of fertilization, I might be interested <laughs> in buying it. Um... Yeah, it's nearing, it's almost ready to be harvested. I don't know if I will get it, but I guess we will just have to see. Right, weather forecast. Uh, rain at about one or two. All right, we should have some time before then. Well, um, right, I need to seed our fields because we are now in March, which means we can put in oats, so... I need to see oats in all of our fields, but I am really not feeling like doing it with this thing. Because this is only three meters and it'll take absolute ages. So I am considering heading into the cedar category, wherever it is, that is, and potentially leasing something like this. Only downside being that, well, we don't have the horsepower for it. Which would mean that we would also need to be to be leasing a tractor that is somewhat that horsepower capability. Because all of these well, that's 180. 12 meter working with. <laughs> but look at the price though. That would be very expensive to lease. Definitely not worth it at all. Um Yeah. Something like this would be ideal, but yeah, the horsepower is just not what we have. We can upgrade the tractor. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we can upgrade the tractor's horsepower to, I believe, 180 or something. Oh. Hmm. Well. 
I have been talking about getting an extra chair in an extra tractor. But is this the one? It's a Fent. It looks awesome. It has 133 horsepower, so it's a little bit more powerful than our current tractor. And the engine is upgradable, but not by much. 50,000. Mm. I was hoping for a medium sized tractor to be in the sale. Hmm. What can our. If we find our, our own tractor real quick, wherever it is in here. I believe this is the one. Yeah, we can upgrade it to 175 horsepower for 15,000. Which I don't know if it's worth it because this tractor is quite used. Um. Hmm. I need to think about this. Alright, I think I've come to the conclusion that the leasing prices are just too expensive. Uh, so I think we will just have to live with um, with our cedar. Um, but that, that tractor deal, I would have liked... It's actually kind of annoying because I would have liked to... Like I said, have a medium-sized tractor, which has a little bit more horsepower than this one. So, do I go for it? I definitely have the money for it, which I'm very happy about, of course. But, yeah. Is it something I'm going to spend money on, or am I going to wait and hope that we get another used machinery, a used tractor in the sale. This is a tough choice. I am tempted, however, to put this tractor to work in the other field, in the big one, and then do a contract that is relatively fast in the meantime, that can pay for <laughs> doing the worker, even though that actually makes no sense now that I think about it. Because I would be spending time on, on the job either way. But, mm, yeah, I think I just need to accept that this job is going to take a while with this heater, uh, until we can upgrade. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do this. This is definitely gonna take a bit, but let's time lapse it and I'll see you when it's done. I guess I'll time it. Yeah, I might as well time it. It's extremely hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't been. That's going to be a pain. But anyways, let's time lapse this and let's see how long this field actually takes. I'll see you at the end of it. Alright, this field has taken about 13 minutes or so, probably 15 minutes in total, so that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. So this field is now done, it has soaked in, I still need to do the small, tiny, annoying field over there, and then the big field, I believe 47 if I'm not mistaken. And I've been thinking about that tractor, because do I need it? Or do I not need it? I've said many times that it would be very handy to have two tractors. But I think I'm going to wait. <laughs> I really, really want to buy it. Because I, 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 I really want it. But, and also it would be a little bit higher in horsepower. Which, it might not seem like a lot. But it is. So, I'm very tempted to buy it. But I think the responsible thing would be to not buy it and to wait until 
and medium tractor eventually shows up. There we go, seats are full. Alright, I will just double check if we have any usable contracts. Also, I really want to get this field. I think I might buy it before it's ready to harvest. Because... Well, yeah, I want it. <laughs> or... Or I could wait. And get field 50. <laughs> Which is a lot more expensive. But very soon, in a couple of months, will be in our price range. Ooh, that's a good... Hmm... That's a good question, actually, then. Do I save up for a few months, potentially be able to sell the soybeans and then get field 50? But at that rate, with such a huge field, we would need bigger equipment, because using a tractor like this in that field would be, well, an absolute nightmare, in my opinion. Then we would have to start leasing equipment. Uh, and yeah, just, just just to show you, if I look into medium tractors, this is like the price we're looking at, and that's just 170. If we want something like, well, a little bit higher up, well, yeah, you 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 can see the price. <laughs> so, and that's just medium tractors. I'm not even in the large tractor category yet. So, yeah, I do wonder. Small tractors. I mean, that's pretty powerful, but that's also expensive. That's the class tractor. Then there's all these small ones from the Antonio Carroll pack. Huh. Well, if we were collecting stones or picking stones, then yeah, that would be ideal. Hmm. It is a really nice color as well. And again, we could upgrade the, the engine to 142 horsepower. But then again, we could do that with ours as well. And if I bought this, I wouldn't be able to sell it for that price anymore. Like if I wanted to sell mine, I would then only get 13,000 from it. So yeah, bit of a pickle. Okay, I've just found this contract right here. We would get a yeah, roughly 7,000, uh, $7,000 out of it. It is fuel 58. So it is rather big, but the equipment is okay wide. We would get money, and I would be able to skip doing this manually. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it just so we can get some variety in as well. So I have borrowed the items. I'm gonna put this on a worker. Everything should be good. Yep, that can work now, so let's skip over here. Ooh, the Valtra. I believe we have used this tractor before. And I mean, look at the cedar. It's huge. Have we not used this before? I do not remember. I definitely remember the gear shifting. I do wonder, this tractor, how... How much horsepower is it? I would assume it's a medium-sized tractor. Yeah, the Valtra. 190 horsepower. Wait, how, how expensive is that? Hmm. That's at an okay price too, actually. Right, let me get to field uh, 58. Wherever that may be. I need to fix my indicators. They don't always work for some reason. But yeah, this is just so we can get some extra money. The worker can do the annoying part in our own field, and we can get some variety in as well. There is one thing that I forgot about these contracts, and that is you need the seed for it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that about these contracts, which is one thing I don't like because it does take away from the price. But oh well. Let's just go ahead and do it. I also forgot a I forgot to wait, apparently. Okay. Seed real quick. Uh, big bag, seeds. Yeah, the price isn't too bad. Plus, again, we will be able to use the remainders ourselves. That is. I always overestimate these seed bags. I always overestimate them. Every single time. 
It's annoying. <laughs> oh well, I'll see you by the field. Hmm, this field is actually quite a bit away from us. Uh, let me return. Here, I think. I can't see the half my screen because of the minimap. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's down here. All the way down. Yep, basically keep going straight. Got it. I don't think we have driven here on the map before. This is some nice open space. That's one thing as well, actually. I'm tempted. I, I'm really considering grass fields. Because if we could do, if we could start doing silage, like make silage bales, that would be cool. Obviously, a huge gr field of uh, grass would be expensive, but the price for silage can be really good, as we saw in the last episode. So, I feel like that might be something to consider at some point, because that that might be a good way of uh, getting money. Also, yeah, we definitely have not been on this part of the map before. It's nice here. There might even be a few selling uh, spots as well, it looks like, on the map. Nice. Ooh, we got a bridge. A pretty steep one as well. A train track. What's this? Hmm. A lot of interesting things here. Alright, gotta take it right here, and then we will be there in just a jiffy. I think it's the field right next to the building up there. And this place is nice. I like this. And that is the field. That's a bit bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Alright. Let's put this here, I think. Detach that. If our worker in our field stop, What? Oh. My weight. I detached the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, like I was saying, if... If our worker in our field is done, we can always set a worker to finish this while we do something else because we will still be getting money for this job. Alright. I think... Do we need to unfold anything? We do. Lower. Well. What did the contract say we needed to, to put in? Sewing. Oh, cotton. Right. That explains it. That does explain it. Cotton right here. Alright. We are sewing cotton. At a fairly decent speed as well. Looks like our worker is about a third of the way. Nice. Alright, I'll make it down to that end and then we'll time lapse the rest of this until either I'm done here or our work is done in our field. Or until I need to refill this thing, because it is... has already used 10%. Yeah, that, I, I forgot I don't like taking uh, <laughs> seeding contracts because of this. The contract that doesn't pay for the seed, which I find a bit unfair. But anyways, here we are. Initiate time lapse. Let's begin. Alright, we are out of seed, so I need to go back to the store, fill it up, and then, well, head back here and continue. I don't know how done our work is. Uh, 
do I connect to this thing? I forget. <laughs> uh, I think over there. Which fits perfect with me. Yep. Indeed. I kind of like this tractor, you know? It's powerful. It's nice to drive. It's nice and fun to drive. And yeah. Hmm. But again, we, we really need to get something that is in the sale. Because, well, money. By the looks of things on the minimap here, our work should be done fairly soon. That means I will be able to set it to work in the tiny field while I do this. And that'll probably fit with 20% or so of this contract remaining. And then we're done. Nice. Bit of a bumpy bridge, but <laughs> it's manageable. Here we are. Right up to the back seats. Back seats? Seats of bags. Refill. And unfortunately, we will probably have to drive back here again. But it shouldn't be too bad. It's a pretty, it's a pretty fun drive, actually. It's not too bad. Alright, I did take a bit of a detour because, as I thought, the worker is very close to completion. Or not is. It is done. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to see how it was going, but turns out it is already done. So I'm glad I did, because that means I can stop right here. Oh, it's it's raining. Right, let's turn off the engine right here. Jump out while it's still running. Yep. Very, very good indeed. Now, one thing that I did want to do, actually, we will do that in the next episode. Actually, we won't be able to do that in, next, in the next episode. I forgot. And this is where I would really love to have two tractors, because I want to roll this crop. I want to roll it, because that'll give plus 2.5% yield. Uh, I guess that's just not something we'll be able to do with oats. Guess we will have to wait with that. Uh, worker initiated. Hopefully the silo back there won't disturb it too much. And I, I love the rain. I love it. I don't know how well you would be able to plant stuff in real life though in the rain. Uh, it can get quite muddy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a roller. Depends on the working width, really. Uh, where are the rollers? Found it. So I have two bots installed, this one and this one. And this is... Oh wow, eight? Eight working meters? And it can be extended. Huh. Eight meters of working width. That's doable, actually. That's very doable. And I think you kind of, you would put the, you'd use two of them. I think. Nope, my bad. You just use this one. This is just a tiny one <laughs> of three meters. Um. Huh. I might buy that, or at least lease it, and try it out for these fields. Um. Hmm. We might remain in this month then, for the next episode, just because I want to be able to roll them. So in the next episode, we'll still be in March, we'll roll the fields, and then we'll move on to the next month after that. We might do that. Because getting that yield bonus would be very, very beneficial and nice. So I should just be able to turn right here, turn left, and then I'm on the main road that I was on before. Sweet. Tight turn, but we have managed. Yeah, I actually quite like this track, this drive. It's actually quite fun. I'm gonna take a bit of a turn here, because then I will be able to continue from where I left off in the field over there. In fact, I'm going to detach the planter here, because that way I will easier be able to attach back to it. Perfect. I love the ambient sounds as well in this game. 
like the sound of the rain hitting the cabin, I guess it's called, of the tractor. I love it. All right, well, I'm going to continue where I left off. And we'll see how much we make with this, uh... Wait, hold on. There we go. Need to unfold it first. But yeah, I'll continue this and we'll see how far I get with this, uh, with this load. I'll see you in a bit. Well, I got a bit hit there, uh, but <laughs> good news is the contract is 50% completed. So what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set a worker to do the rest of this. And then I will quickly swap over to our tractor because this field is now done. So all of our fields now are sewed in with oats. So I'm going to put the cedar away. And we're gonna go ahead and I think either lease or buy the roller and try and roll one of these fields. The more we get done, the better. We might as well utilize the time we have. Uh, lower this. Now, I don't know, like I said, whether or not the best thing is to lease it or buy it outright. It is only 878 to lease. It is 17,000 to buy outright, which I think I'm going to do because I want to start rolling because I'm not sure actually like what it actually does like a roller I would assume it compacts the ground but I will do some research on that what it actually does in real life but I think I'm going to buy this <laughs> I don't know if that's a good purchase but I think it is so we are going to go ahead and fetch it from, uh, from the shop and then we're going to try and roll this field. So I took the widest configuration, which is 8 meters. We should be able to run that with this tractor, hopefully. I'm going to race on over there as quickly as possible. Okay, as quickly as this tractor can possibly drive. And it's honestly relatively fast. Like 53 kilometers. That's not too bad, I feel. But yeah, rolling the field will... Ooh, 60% completed. Will increase the yield with 2.5%. Which might not sound like a lot, but it can be. So we want as much uh, yield from our fields as possible. All right, here we are, and our roller is here. I should have grabbed. Hmm, I should have grabbed my uh, front front loader so I could uh, grab those seeds with me, so I could fill up the the cedar on the contract. But boom, attached. Brand new as well. Did cost us 17,000. But I think it's worth it. Feels a bit heavy, but that shouldn't be an issue. Hmm. I think I know the title for this video. Rolling in the rain. Or maybe rolling around. Hmm. That would be an interesting one. Anyways, we are here. And I'm quite excited. So, let's unfold this. Yeah, that's a pretty good working with just like our oop, just like our weeder. So, if I go up here, turn over here. And just lower it, I guess. There's nothing to turn on. I think we literally just drive. Oh, that's a pretty good speed as well. This will be able to be done in no time. Now, my question is, how easy will it be for me to see where I have and haven't been? Also, there's some heavy rain we're getting today. We're getting quite a lot of heavy rain today. I'm not going to complain. I love the rain. And the thunder as well. It does seem like it changes the texture. 
I wonder if I'll be able to just turn here. I can. I will do those ends afterwards properly. And I can see where I've been as well. That is perfect. Once again, this is a mod and I've left all my all the links for the mods that I use down below in the description if you're interested in them. And the worker tank is empty just as I thought it was about to be. Alright, we will get that filled up. But first I want to roll this field completely. That is this field pretty much rolled. Just gonna do the ends now. Then I'm gonna set this to work in the big field. Then I'm gonna go ahead and seat up the other tractor, finish that contract, and we will be done for the day, I think. Perfect. And done. All right. This is rolling. Let's jump over to this tractor. Fill it up and yeah, and we'll be done. We're doing a lot of work in the rain today. All right, here I am yet again. Just need to find out, find out where the worker has ended. Also, the rain has passed and the sun is coming out. Great. I also stopped the worker rolling down the field because I want to do the rest of it myself. But... I just want to finish this manually. Oh, wait. <laughs> I want to finish this manually, then do the rest of the rolling. And then we will have done a lot of progress today. All right, contract completed. So now I'm just gonna put, I want to empty out the seed because I did pay for this. And that is 400 liters. That's a lot for us. So I'm gonna probably like unload it here or something just so I can get my hands on it. And yeah, contract is now completed. Collected, nice. And I will come back for this, yeah. Eventually. <laughs> Let's now get back over to this tractor. And yep, that's literally where I stopped it. In the middle of the neighbor f neighboring field. Which might soon be ours. I might buy it. I'm not quite sure. Now I just need to somehow... That's, that's definitely not going to work. That's better. We just have one final pass. Oh. I keep going too fast with this thing. Yeah, just one final pass. Then we have this tiny field, which will be done in two seconds for you. Because it's probably going to be a nightmare to watch. <laughs> and then we're done. We have done a lot of progress this episode. I do apologize if the episode uh, is a bit long. Do let me know if you enjoy the longer episodes or the shorter episodes. It's because I can make them shorter. But... Oh wait, did it not roll out here? Oh, it didn't. I don't think it did. Alright, I'll do one pass over there. Oh, it missed a huge chunk there as well. Huh. Good to know. Alright. Just missing the small field now. Which I'm... Trying to think... How to tackle. It does look like it didn't see this... 
bit right here, which I assume is due to the silo. Hmm. What good is a worker if you need to clean up after them? And almost done. After doing the headland, this part is actually fairly easy. You just go up and down a bunch and it is easily done. Now, I really need to start thinking of where to put a shed because, well, I think I am officially out of <laughs> room. All of my equipment is literally out in the open, which is not ideal by a long shot. Also, yeah, see, I don't even know where to place this thing. Um, hmm. I am wondering, kind of leaving the tractor out of nowhere now, uh, the, the field that I'm thinking of buying, I believe it's this one, right? Does it have... Okay, no. I was thinking if it had any shed space, but that would be field 49. Ooh! Oh, they did give it a second uh, stage of fertilizer. Ooh. We might be buying this field in the next episode. <laughs> we might be buying that field in the next episode. I'm actually quite excited. That... Hmm. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, in the next episode, new field, hopefully. Speaking of next episode, that is everything for this one. We did a lot of stuff. We seeded oats in all the fields. We rolled them and we completed the contract as well. Very, very good. So guys, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications. And until next time, have a wonderful day and time for a nap. <laughs> Goodbye.